Hey guys, it's Fancy. Today I'm going to be doing a Briar collection tour because I haven't done one in over two years and my collection has grown so much since then. So I hope you guys enjoy. Over here I have my Briar traditional show string. Um, I've been collecting them for about 10 years now and I have a total of 63 horses in my traditional show string. Up here on the top shelf I have Rimrock from the Horse Whisperer and I have General Lee's Traveler. Moving down to this shelf, I have the Chestnut Appaloosa from the Where is Pegasus Treasure Hunt series. Um, then I have Hidalgo. I have Kaleidoscope. Here's a special run from 95, I believe. This is a JAH special run. Um, I don't think he had a specific name. He was just a special run. Um, then I have my two Five Gators. I have Project Universe, and I believe he was just called like Chestnut Stallion or something along that line. Um, this is the Great Spirit Horse, Black Beauty. This is the horse from the Riata Ranch Trick Riding Set. Um, this was just a J.C. Penny special run. He came with two other horses. This is Seattle Slough. I do have his roses, but I don't keep them on him just in case they would bleed or cause rubs or anything. Um, this is Midnight Sun. On this third shelf from the top, I have Cloud Nine. He was the Fall 2010 Collector's Choice Edition. Edition, excuse me. Then I have Teddy. He was a Briarfest 2011 store special. This is Sierra Blanco. She was a Fall Collector's Edition. I'm not sure from what year. I'll have to check on that. This is Big Checks to Cash. Wapiti. Black Tie Affair. Pecos, who was the celebration model from Briarfest 2011. Then I have the Flea Bitten Gray Mare. She was in a, it was like the Color Crazy Collectors series. It was a treasure hunt. This guy is probably my favorite model in my whole collection. He was the Spun Gold Special Run from Briarfest 2011. There were three different varieties of him, but I have to say, of all that I've seen, he is definitely my favorite. He has really good dappling for Briar. Briar often has really scaly dappling, and just, they don't do very well on their dapples, but with him, they did a really good job, surprisingly. This is Once Upon a Time. He was a special run from Briarfest 2011. Next to him is Kennebec Count, S. Just a Dream, Sephnoak Park Bouncer, and Maestral Hodris, I believe. I have trouble pronouncing that name. Alright, here on the fourth shelf, I have Diamond Jubilee, which was Briar's 60th Anniversary Limited Edition. This is Rushmore on the Smarty Jones Mold. He's a special run from Briar Fest 2007. This is my um, Zippo Pine Bar Conga. I have Fleet Straight Max, Ricky Rocker, the original Zippo Pine Bar, and Confetti. Then I have Aintree, and I have a just a regular old Dapple Gray on the Flash Mold. He's actually won a lot for me. Even though you wouldn't think he's really anything special, he's actually a really cute little model. Right, this is Moon Gamine and my Gofford Conga. I have Gofford 369, Coochie, and a horse from the Smoke and Mirrors set. I can never remember if this is Smoke or Mirrors, so feel free to correct me. On the shelf, I have Blackjack and Gathering Storm, and right in front of them is Midnight Tango. Next, I have Season's Greetings, which was the 1999 Christmas model. Then Carpe Diem, which was the um, celebration whatever model for the new millennium in 2000. Next is Harmony, Cochise, Cupid from the Cupid and Arrow set. Um, this is a treasure hunt model from the Lady Fae's treasure hunt. Um, Leah's Fancy Chick, Esprit, Isadora Cruz, and Autumn Shimmer. Autumn Shimmer was the 2006 Collector's Choice Fall Edition. And the last shelf of six. Here are my traditional showstring foals. 
In the very back corner, there is a regular run bowl that Briar released in the 90s. Um, next to him is a Palomino Pinto on the Salad Bread Weanling mold. Then I have Arrow from the Cupid and Arrow set, and the foal that came with the Flea Bit and Gray Mare from the Color Crazy series. Next is Dolly, who is a 1999 collector's edition. Aaron Gobra, Poco Bueno, Pilgrim from the Horse Whisperer series, and Doc Bar. Next over here I have my stable mates and some classic foals. I'm not going to go through each of them individually, but I will make mention of my classic foal conga. To keep this video from getting too long, I'm not going to go through each of these models that aren't in my show string, but I will briefly go over them. Um, they're mostly half-finished customs and horses that are just, you know, in really bad condition that I can't show. These are also models that are not in my show string due to their condition. My last shelf of traditional models, these are the horses that I use for tack making usually. They are also not in my show string due to condition reasons. And on my last set of shelves are my classic models. Um, I'm not going to go through each of them individually either just because it would take too long and I don't want this video to get too long. But if you have any questions about any model, feel free to ask. I hope you guys like my Briar Collection Tour. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe to Fancy Horse Lover. Have a great day and stay fancy.